Hello, it's Teresa here. I hope you're all well. I hope the weather's nicer where you are than it is here. It's a really grey, drizzly day. It's been raining now for days and apparently we have another week of this sort of weather. But anyway, things are looking good here and I hope they're looking good where you are too. So I'm just going to jump in now with some housekeeping with some names and the first one is Terserin Cole. Hello Terserin, I was really pleased to hear from you. Um, I hope you're recovering and you're doing well. So it's good to hear from you. Um, Terserin, you want a place to post your work. Well, watch this space because I am really going to launch the Facebook group. Um, what's today? Today is Wednesday. I'm going away for a weekend, this coming weekend. And I could possibly release the Facebook group before I go or when I come back. So it will be within the next maybe five days. So, um, and I keep putting it off. It's ready. I keep putting it off. But anyway, I'm going to do that because there seems to be a need for it. Um, you want cuckoo clock. <laughs> well, I got my cuckoo clock from Germany, from the Black Forest. It's an awful long way to go for a cuckoo clock, but it was well worth it, I have to say. So, welcome and hello to Sherry Vanderpost. Hello, Claire Rogers. Claire, um, I think I know the picture, that you, the painting that you, you uh, refer to, um, like Elizabeth I embroidery um, dress, the embroidery on her dress, and I think you're referring to the white dress in the painting um, I have a feeling that's the, the painting that you're referring to and yeah I can see the likeness between the embroidery that we're doing at the moment the textile art we're doing on our covers and that dress um, but I do love getting inspiration from history the museums and that's one good thing about where i live there's no shortage of art galleries or museums and it's it's wonderful so um yeah that was a cute observation although i didn't use that um i didn't use that you can see the progression the idea from the flowers but anyway that's <laughs> that's really interesting <laughs> um hello sandra patterson i hope you're well Anna, you left two lovely comments. Thank you very much. I hope you're well as well. Kath, always nice to hear from you. Um, I hope you're doing well. And um, you'll be pleased to know that Facebook will be opening shortly. Because we spoke about this on and off oh, a long time ago. I think the last time might have been February. So, um, yeah, once again, Kath. I'm sorry for the delay because I did promise then, didn't I, about February. And that seems such a long time ago now. But yeah, that's that will be up and running, Ooh, she says, with nervousness. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this, but, but I am. Um, hello, Jackie Galloway. I hope you're well as well. Sazon Vintage World. Hello, Sazon. I hope I've pronounced that properly. Um, Teresa Singrenelle, I am so pleased you're okay. I did notice that you'd gone AWOL for a while, but I'm pleased that you're back with us now and I hope you're doing well. Sunny girl, thank you very much for your lovely comment as well and I, I hope you're doing okay. And Glenn Leader, um, thanks Glenn for your comment. So long. So long when I see your name, I have to grab a coffee and sit down and um, take my time to read your comments. But thank you for taking the time because it, it must take quite a time to do your comments. And um, I love what you said about mindfulness and you're practicing your mindfulness while doing other things in other areas of your life and that is so true because you can do mindfulness wherever you are whatever you're doing um and i just think it's lovely i practice mine as i replied back to you i practice mine of a morning in the swimming pool as most of you know or some of you know i i'm what's called an early rise <laughs> and that makes me laugh too um and i go swimming at half six in the morning and um 
it's just such a beautiful time to be swimming and that you can hear the water and you can feel the water and it's just calm uh, it's just lovely so i do know what you mean glenn about the mindfulness in other areas of your life but anyway having said all that let's plow on now with the last part of our video the flip through and i really hope you enjoy this so you will need to grab a coffee you will need to grab a bun or a biscuit put your feet on the coffee table get your remote control and just enjoy okay so i'll be releasing a short video shortly about the facebook group so <laughs> hang on okay i'll speak to you soon now the journal's finished it's all done and dusted so i'm going to do a flip through of it now it is very very big very chunky around here it's not the sort of journal that you're going to keep in your <laughs> in your pocket or in your handbag it's one that i would keep by the bed keep in one particular place it's more of a book it's about cross stitch and it's about slow stitch with um, a lot of places for journaling as well so let's have a look and see what's going on so we've looked at these two pages in quite detail the inspiration the daffodils which run through the journal um, a few little quotes up here and that is from daffodils by William Wordsworth and it's a line that I really like and it says and then my heart with pleasure full fills and dances with the daffodils and I think that is really gorgeous so first two pages and we looked at this in depth as well had dills and tulips um little run around there now these pages here aren't from edith holden they're from another book a similar book um so they're not edith holden although they're in that style we have a nice little bit of lace here and a little pretty little card and i think that is gorgeous as well and it reflects the colors i've tried i have tried to match the pages as far as possible but it hasn't always worked we looked at this as well in some depth the dragonfly a few sequins some i'm gonna have to move that down some uh paper for journaling up there Another little quote there from Hen Henri or Henry Matisse, who said that there are always flowers for those who want to see them. <laughs> I think that's really true, isn't it? That's, I think that's about being positive. So, and that's the back of it. The dragonfly there. More journaling here. So we have pages there and we looked at this in some depth as well our progression of an idea from the flower to the finished piece this page here opens up it flips open to this journaling pages the sides have lists there's a couple of pages there that will rip out for lists but they're not upside down this is for act to actually put things in side and I can't actually see a card to go inside but it will go inside and hold them either side of the same here we have two cards as well poked inside greetings cards or gift tags journaling even those live in there that one's the same lives in that side and over here we have some vintage lace here a little doily there and it's holding a little book now these this is franken paper and we might have done this before in another project i have done it before but i'm not sure where I, i've done it now these little pieces here are just right for journaling so you could actually use those from journaling this is vintage wallpaper it was given to me by a friend there 
Um, so we have a mixture there of vintage and um, new. This is from um, an embroidered uh, doily, anti-macassar I think they're called, or even a tablecloth, I'm not sure which. I save vintage tablecloths and embroidery and that is a photocopy from one of my, my anti-macassars or... That's an old fashioned word now isn't it? It's that piece of cloth oh, like this, only it goes over the back of your armchair. I think that's an anti-macassar. Anyway, that is photocopy of Lazy Daisy as uh, we have Lazy Daisy again it's most oh, a blanket stitch here uh, some running stitch so once again that is oh, feather stitch here so that is very in keeping with our slow stitch a few pretty papers here so that lives in the envelope some washi tape around here um, that's handmade washi tape there these are pinwheels let me find a little card there we go so that will go in there a little piece of run around there odds and ends just sat and sewn in front of the TV some stickers, I'm not sure where these stickers came from. Now these pages here um, are from a project that I did. Um, I've got the actual, right here we go. Now these are project work that I did for someone on um, YouTube, was part of, did a project with her. Um, and this is a page I did and it's photocopied from my project work. This is the actual piece. I photocopied that into this I made and this is a little tuck there that you can pop a card in or something that you want to it's another actually that could go in there couldn't it it's the same piece of work this is a photocopy of this there so we have two, the photocopied and the original there. I, like, I do like that effect. Journaling, that's a little bit of collage. We have the uh, page from the nursery catalog, a rose from the nursery cat catalog on um, a cutout crossword. And that's all that is bookmark now this weaving we meet later on as well with drawing the fabric uh, with drawing the weft and weaving with different threads so we will meet this again that is a bookmark or it was but I'm using it now to edge the page we have mat matching butterfly here and card greetings card there bearing in mind that some of these cards I did buy from eBay to support um, local local artists and craftspeople so I didn't actually do all these cards myself I did some of them but not all of them I did buy some of them washi tape feather stitch there and some bling on ribbon and st stuck down I didn't I didn't machine sew that another card for journaling that's a journaling card shop bought washi tape that I actually got from a charity shop nice envelope the envelope stuck down but here is another one to use with the writing paper it all seems very old-fashioned now doesn't it writing paper and um, envelopes when you think everything is emailed now more paper and that once again that isn't Elizabeth Holden daffodils collage just on music paper and vintage book paper the whole paper there is vintage and a nice little tuck spot there for something to go in actually I did have something in there and it's come out so I'll have to find where that is 
and a little card there with a robin in it that was a little sticker of some sort on a tiny little bit of run around and that was a tag from the charity shop two pounds on there and it's just machine sewn right the way through and pinned down and I just think that is really nice I like that it's quite simple that's some embroidery there and that has been made into a little pocket there and here we have that's a serviette that was it was three ply so two ply was removed and this was just glued down with ordinary glue stick into a nice pocket there something to go in there a little run around on some felt to match the flower there this has been stuck this page was stuck down onto this journaling page here and that is now a pocket for something something to go in there and that could be a piece of card like that go in there so there's lots of secret places here birthday card and that just sort of matches that a little bit that and this is for journaling on there and just a little tag to someone special and a card some journaling there could go on another pocket there something to go in journaling now this this is really easy so we've all done these before so we're going to fold the points into the middle like this okay so you've got a smaller square with all the bits folded in and it's like an envelope so then that is turned over and then this, we do exactly the same we fold the points into the middle again like this yeah so now you've got them all folded in there and to get to this all you do is lift that up like so and then you're going to sew round all these now you could do that in slow stitch with a nice thin pointed needle all the way around there and it just holds these in place like that and you'll end up with that and then you can pop a card in there like that it becomes a little pocket or a little tuck spot or whatever have a little bit of stamping on just an ordinary piece of card that I made put a hole in there another little pocket there and a belly band now the belly band will hold something like so and that was a, a picture from a calendar and another another saying from Buddha if we could see the miracle of a single flower clearly our lives would change and like that is I think that's just lovely it's very simple but if you think about it it's, it's quite true some journaling here little tuck spot there a little bit of sewing there and this is a vintage card and it's dated um, 1908 July it's even got a time there half past two and it's Manchester and um, I'm going to read it actually and it says I hope you did not forget to thank your ma will you say how much I have enjoyed both what a change in the weather miss t did not come until 12 o'clock kept her word miss taylor's uncle was killed yesterday on the sailing hope you are both well um oh, yeah perhaps i shouldn't have read that out actually it's a bit grim isn't it and the first time i saw that i had to sort of smile in a strange way at the casual way that this gentleman i think it's a gentleman 
just um, gave over this rather tragic information about this poor man being killed. But anyway, that is a vintage card that lives there. <coughs> we have a little bit of folding going over here and a little tag there. That's another serviette with two ply removed and just one ply and then glued down. And these are all things that I think we have done before. A little bit of a pocket there as well nice bit of decoration right, I'm going to speed up a bit because um, some pages right now this is Edith Holden and she was um, I have to be careful with this a naturist yeah a naturist from 1906 she was and it's from the book, The Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And those of you who haven't seen this, these are fabulous books. There's a whole set of them with beautiful pictures in them. Um, and they are really lovely. Well, this is obviously taken from the book. So, that's there. And the pit, these are from that. So, these two here are to complement the card there they live there i need to tidy that up a bit um another card here that is from another piece of vintage embroidery that i have that i photocopied a bit of journaling journaling here with a, a little detail more journaling and here this was actually free with a magazine and if you look closely, you can see that that is embroidery. That, that only took about half an hour or so to do. And it's a card. I've, I've opened the card and stuck that down. You can put things in there like that. And this cross stitch, I turned that into a little notebook. So that's in there. So notes for journaling. It's easy to lose sight of when you're doing these books that they are mostly, or they are intended as journals. But I think, you know, sometimes you just want something nice and pretty to look at. So another quote there, a flower is a smile from heaven. And that's unknown. No idea who said that. Once again, it's the baguette bag. Done exactly the same way as for the dragonfly. And more of my... Sorry, more of my vintage embroidery there. Lots of journaling spaces. And over that side is it the other part of the bag. There you go. More journaling in there. Thank you card. Plain inside for journaling. And the little tag, I can't remember what this came with, but it already said thank you. And it was on the string, and I thought that goes just nicely in there. And here we have a little bit of a belly band here. A little bit of a detail there. And a tag on there. And now the tag is only partly sewn down, and that is so it can be used... To hold something there but this is a, a cushion um, a pillow parcel or gift box and inside I've lined it and I've just put some odds and ends of paper so it's actually a little notebook and that comes around there and goes back there some journal in there Daffodils, that was an advert on a piece of card that came through the door recently. Can't even remember what the advert's for, but all I saw were daffodils. And hey, that goes with our, our theme. And that's a gift tag. I got those on eBay. There's someone on eBay, a couple of people on eBay actually, that make these. And they are gorgeous. Reasonably priced as well. Pla the power of plants, I cut that out from something. Let's tuck that down. Now this, with this piece here, I'm just going to give you a brief, quick demonstration on how to do this. And it is something really nice to do. 
so how to do this weaving i think we've actually done a piece of weaving like this before but in case we haven't i'm just going to show you how to do it i'll put that paper there so you're not detracted by here now as you can see it's all thicknesses different different yarns fabrics um lace there's all sorts of things running through the weft it's all the weft the warp the bit that goes down up and down has been left the same but the weft the bit that goes across has been removed in places so how do we do that and get that lovely texture and as you can see afterwards i have done some slow stitching across some of this so i'm just very quickly going to show you how to get that effect now you need a piece of fabric with a very loose open weave now i've chosen this just for per, uh, demonstration purposes so you can see just how open this weave is look you can easily make a hole in it because it's very very loose now what you need to do is just go through there and every now and again or as many as you want i should say just remove just remove some some threads some weft and don't forget weft goes across so every now and again i'm going to move well i'm, I'm going to move several at one time because some of my fabric there is quite thick so all the way down now the nice thing about an open weave like this is that you can as well move it about after you've moved after you've removed some of these you can move the other uh, the remaining threads about because it is so loose that they become movable see that and you can get some lovely shapes amongst these these warp threads that are left all right i'm going to remove i'm going to make this a bit bigger that's entirely up to you how you do this now on a large piece of work what i would do is zigzag all the way around here like i have done here because for obvious reasons because it is a very loose weave it will fray and as you can see i've already moved some here i've lost some threads along here just while i've been doing this on the camera some of them have become very loose and i've pulled them out right now i'm just going to stop there this is just a quick demonstration and i'm going to make that a little bit bigger just so you can now see the technique now it is a weaving technique so that's under over under over but you don't have to go under over every every thread here every warp thread you can miss some you can go over several it's up to you we're about making texture and to make a texture you want a variety of threads now i'm calling these threads the lace is now a thread this netting where am i has become a thread and this string um ribbon the wall there's all sorts of bits and pieces there off cuts you can even put card between it as long as you're not going to wash it it's up to you what you use so need a nice big darning needle a point um, a blunt end because with a point you'll just keep picking up all the threads a nice big eye there because you're going to be using some thick fabrics and this is so so much fun because you don't really know what effects you're going to get until you've done it so this is what i've got at the moment now i'm going to use this double uh, where's that paper gone i'm going to use that double i'm not going to knot it 
let's see what effect we get with this. So I'm working sidewards again. So I'm going to mystery, go over two, under two, over four, I think that is. Just as the move takes me, I think there might be five there. There's two there, under and over, all the way to the end. You could do it the correct way and just go under and over each one. But you would get a very even effect and there'd be very little point in um, do, uh, doing this. Right, see that first row. Just going to cut that. Um, did have some nice scissors here. Just use these. First row. So to set that aside because I'll be using that later. Next, I've got a, th a thick line there. So true to our design principles, the next row, I think I'm going to make thin. So we then have a thick and a thin line. I'm going to use some wool. You can see the contrast there. We have the thick and the thin. And even the contrast in texture here. We have the thick wool and the very fine net there. So I'm going to do this once. Right, so where are we here? So here, I got... I started under so here I'm going to start over and I'm just doing the same as I did for the first row paying no attention except for the ends because we're going to need to secure the ends at some point and it makes it easier if um, they they've got some sort of structure <laughs> to them right there we go that's the red and I'll tell you, I'll warn you now, this really is addictive. Like so much of the things we do, this is addictive because it grows quickly. And as I said, you really don't know what effect you're going to get. Right now, you can start pushing that up as you want it. You see that? So push that up. Now you're making some nice groups here, groups of stitches. And that you could actually do some stitching in there you could tie them oh you could do all sorts of things it's it's very exciting to do this right i'm going to try a little bit of gold there and once again this is thicker than the wall so let's right i'm going to break some of these groups up now otherwise it's going to look a bit samey yeah, I'm breaking the groups up. Right. We need to push that. I'm going to bring the red down because I want to see the red. There. Take this to the end. There we go. Cut that. Right, I'm not going to withdraw any more threads from that row at the moment, but I'm going to try and put another another row of threads in there. Squeeze those up to see what we get. Now this piece was a side piece that I cut off. I had to cut this off so I could withdraw some threads because it's been zigzagged. So I cut the sides off. Now I'm going to put them back, but I'm not putting them in the sides. I'm putting them in the main body. Let's see what we get here. So I'm taking that all the way down there. Whoa, that's tough. Mm, it's going through. Yeah. So we're beginning to get a really nice texture. 
lovely now can you see that texture that's happening there already now this is all I did to the piece in the journal at the moment I really like to carry on with it and I probably will off the camera it's just so nice to sit and do and then once you've done it all you can just do some slow stitching on top see that I haven't withdrawn any threads there I'm now pushing them so we're going to get some really nice shapes there I'm just going to do one more just a little bit there I'm going to use the pink oops if I can get that in the needle use the pink here and I'm going to start that in the mid row here there we go all the way along smashing and we've got the pink there now you can leave that piece hanging or this could be the back that would be the front you could sew that in personally I like to see those hanging it gives a nice raggy effect it gives a nice textured effect and that is how you do your little bit of withdrawing the weft and weaving between them all right so you leave the warp threads in place and you withdraw as many threads as you like this is very samey so I would actually carry on and withdraw you might want to withdraw most of them but don't forget the more you withdraw the floppier your fabric's going to get so I wouldn't withdraw more than this amount so you have a little bit of firmness there something that you can hold on to <laughs> that isn't going to fall to pieces while you're working on it okay so there you go I hope you enjoy doing that because it's just lovely just really oh. lovely right another vintage card here i collect vintage postcards i should have said earlier on the language of flowers roses mean admiration and here we have another one and this is this looks like 1911 i am going to read it again it's the 6th of april dear miss dear miss hard hardy my daughters will be in any time after five o'clock on Saturday, on Saturday the nights, I think that says, and it's signed, and it's to a Miss Larda, a Landa, Miss Landa, the dressmaker, and there's an address there. So somebody writing to the dressmaker, telling them that the daughters will be in for their fitting. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. I love that. So that goes in there. And a little, tiny little pocket here, little bag, and that was really easy to make. All I did there in fabric was fold up one end like that, and I sewed it, just sewed it like that, and brought that down. So that that was easy. A little tag to go in there. Picture there. That's Monet's Bridge. I've actually seen that. Some washi tape going on down there. Now these, this is from an old calendar. But each one of these would make really nice little places for notes. A little bit of writing going on there. Some more journaling pages there. This I love. Now I made this for another project. This wasn't intended to go on here. But while I was compiling this, I thought, I know what I've got to complement this, and it's that. So I've cut this up, and I mean, it took, this took me ages to do. As I said, it's for another project, which now I need to do again. Um, so it's paper, it's vintage paper here. That is part of a sachet, coffee sachet, it's the bit that, that opens the packet. Um, and lace and a little bit of uh, net there on some burlap or hessian 
and um, yeah I thought that was really lovely but I do like how it looks there anyway so I've had to put use that that's a, that was a birthday card a nice little bit of cross stitch here to complement the roses on there and some sequins and inside we have a to do a little to do notebook um, I think you might be able to see the days of the week along there a little bit of graph paper there as well so that will go in there and that's held down with that because that's quite weighty this was coffee dye paper that I did for another project but it just seems to to work well in this one and another little tag there just for you oh from white stuff from the shop white stuff that was attached to a gift and I thought whoa that's a nice little tag look it's tiny it's really, it's really tiny that tag so I put some lace on there and a little sticker and I just machine sewed through it a little bit of lace there this page looks a bit grubby but it's handmade with flowers on of caught between the layers there so that is nice for journaling as well once again this is from some work I did it's photocopied from a piece of work that I've got elsewhere I like this this ribbon was attached to something I bought from eBay and um, whoever it was had wrapped up what I had bought so beautiful and it was wrapped in this ribbon and that is handmade there was a little note on there to say the ribbon was handmade and it is gorgeous so I've used that I've used that with some slow stitch the pink beads here is a bracelet uh, once again you you probably all know by now that I collect broken bracelets and jewelry well I seem to collect an awful lot of stuff really um, postcards this that and everything else and I've put it on some graph paper and do, just work some slow stitch along there so here we have some vintage um, oh, vintage music paper I've sewn some vintage lace on there oh another postcard let's hope this one's a bit more cheerful and this is the 6th of August 1916 quarter past nine in the morning just a note to say the boys are here hope you are feeling better um this last few days love from no that's cute and the original stamps they've all got the original stamps on them so that goes in there a nice little tag again um could put them that way around i suppose it doesn't matter does it The leftovers from that lovely piece down back here I had to cut some off I cut that off and I thought I'm not wasting that so oh, I need to cut those off though I'll just cut those off in a minute when I find the scissors um, a little bit of a, a, a pocket there you see that here more journaling quite a few page, pages there for the journaling a little bit of a, of a tuck, uh, not a tuck spot, sorry. A little bit of a tag hanging there, free and wild. And this bit, once again, is from work I did that I photocopied. Um, this page here, I think, is probably one of my favourites. It's just a piece of card with little bits laid across, different uh, papers laid across and held down sewn down the sides here and then with um handmade tags popped inside and it's just was so easy to do and each tag has room on the back for either a message or a little bit of journaling and i just think this is this is a really nice page i like that one very very much so that's that page here we have another bit all the seeds of tomorrow are in the seeds of today. It's an Indian proverb. 
like that as well. Another piece of that weaving, the withdrawing the, the weft and and uh, replacing. It looks as if it's I've actually withdrawn the warp here because that is ran the other way. Um, yeah, it's on its side, if, if that makes sense. Another Victorian postcard. Let's have a look at this. Dear someone, Mary or Troy or someone, I think you must be getting down walking so far. I shall expect to see you looking a, le <laughs> a lot. It looks a lot fatter. Looking a lot fatter. It is all right to be you. It will soon be time to come home. Love to mother and dad. And best of love to yourself from auntie. Oh, that's cute, isn't it? I'm sure she didn't really say fatter. It must be fitter, but it did look like an A and not an I. Piece of work there. Just for you, a little bit of journaling in there. Another little tag, and that one is a three ninety nine, done exactly the way as the other two. Some acrylic dyed lace there. A little, another little um, notebook. A little bit of printing. I took this from another project actually, a project that wasn't being use and I made that some time ago but it seems to work with this one little bird and little tuck spot there as well so that can go in there so there is plenty of or there are plenty of places in this for journaling and the cards here cards right I might need to move that again these two here, we have a little pocket going on in that one. Let me just make that a bit smaller. No, I can't, so I'm just going to move that now. Make that. So that's the bottom. The bottom one is a little pocket. The top one is just a little flap. For no reason at all except I liked it okay <laughs> so you could put something long in there and it would be covered up so a sun this was a flash card from my teaching days it just says sun there and it says sun on the back which you can't see I put it on a tag and I so I've sewn a button there in the middle because now it's a sun flower <laughs> and a little handmade label there um, some nice paper there I think that might have been from Paper Chase a little piece I had over some graph paper on the back some more paper for writing a little bit of leftover Ada with some crosses on there some lace to decorate the page there this is another piece of my of work of mine that I photocopied and that is the original there but for some unknown reason I've managed to pop it on upside down that is the the right way up with the stamps that way but I have popped it that way instead so the stamps are now upside down but I suppose it makes it unique doesn't it and there we go now we have done needle weaving like this in a past project you see the needle weaving on the original so you might have seen this before the needle weaving here we have done before so I won't go into details with that this is a pocket there with a little bit of a detail there and that's just that was inspired by a row of flowers this here in a, in a flower bed it's just purely for decoration and towards the end we have lots of places for journaling now this here was a collage fabric collage on card lots and lots of pieces over 
they're actually glued down with PVA and just these long pieces here one two and down here machine sewn just to clip them all to make sure they don't fall off it's quite secure you can actually see on this side how many look there's, there's actually two one two rows of sewing there um, flowers are love's flowers are love's truest language park benjamin 19th century said that there's the other side to the fabric collage um, more journaling just to remind us flowers matches that <laughs> I look another flash card which can actually pop something in there and that's a garden says there some slow stitch on there another piece from one of my tablecloths photocopied it's a pocket or a tuck spot or whatever <laughs> And the last page there, we have um, a needle case, a little needle case, and cross stitch with some bead, slow stitch all the way around the edge. Felt looks as if I'm hard up for needles, doesn't it? Just putting one in there, <laughs> so that goes in there. Odds and ends, and that is it. Now the closure, I changed my mind about the closure, I was going to use um, a bracelet but I decided against it because this is really thick. Uh, I've added beads here at, just on the end, lots of beads, I, hand, I, made, these, um, I made these little beads from the broken jewellery that I mentioned several times so I put them on some pins twisted the pins looped them over and then I've hand sewn each one on with a few over sewn stitches so that's the edge now the closure I found an old earring and a looped earring I've taken the, the piece off the finding off that goes through the ear and I've pop that down so I've sewn that down and just a little flower underneath and I've just cut two strips two strips of lace uh, sorry one strip of lace and one of a scarf a new scarf that's never been used I sewed them together down the center to hold them together and I've looped them through through that ring there and this is how I'm going to keep, oops, fold it, um, this is how I'm going to close it, just like so. Oops, <laughs> something, I've just pulled too hard on something, and that is it. So on that note, that is the journal finished, so I hope you liked that uh, it was well worth the effort it did take time to do well a couple of weeks anyway so i hope you enjoyed that and um, i look forward to hearing your comments they're coming in already from the previous parts and so far they're really good so thank you very very much for that it really does sort of spur me on to carry on so thanks a lot and all take care and i'll be back with you very very shortly with another project so take care now bye bye